One thing that I'm often asked when I am doing a training session in um, on SciFinder and we are discussing the SciFinder products is show me something that I can do in SciFinder N that maybe that I can't do in, in SciFinder on the web. And what I'm going to show you now is show you a very simple feature that I think would be very appealing to chemists and to searchers who, who may use SciFinder N. So I've entered a substance name in the in the search box here. I'm searching for um, substances right here. So let's look for paclitaxel. Um, here's my here's my substance. I can of course go and you know look at this in a little bit more detail and so forth. But let's go to the reactions. I just want to look at these. Now, when the reaction tab uh, opens up. First of all, we can see that reactions in SciFinder N now, they are arranged in schemes where it's the same reactants go into the same product. So there's a slightly different way in which the reactions are, are uh, listed in, in SciFinder N. But let's take a look at the catalyst and imagine I'm looking at this list now and I can see what a lot of these names are, but I see this TPAP and I think, what on earth is this? I've not heard of this before. If I mark this box, I'm going to bring back the reactions that involve this particular catalyst. And here we go, they're listed here. Again, notice uh, they are listed here by name and not by CAS registry number. If I click on TPAP, I can see the display of this uh, substance. It's a very brief overview. But if I want to look at this in a bit more detail, if I come up to the top, and now I'm going to use my right mouse click, I can explore this in a different tab. And in fact, we can see that other tab has opened up on the back. I can look at this, I can look at spectra, regulatory information and so forth, but my parent tab is still open. Likewise, within uh, this tab itself, if I go and I say, okay, let me just check the references, but I don't want to close this window, then once more, I can click on references, open link, in new tab and I now have a third tab open for the references. So this for me is a feature that is really valuable in SciFinder N because as searchers we do go off on tangents and we like to explore things as we find them and this feature in SciFinder N certainly facilitates that. And that is your search tip for the day.